Hello everyone, this is Roberto Valenzuela. Thank you for watching this first of many episodes of how I edited a photo in Capture One. If you do not know what Capture One is, Capture One is a raw editor, the greatest one in the world in my opinion, and it's freaking awesome. Um, if you would like to uh, follow along or experiment with Capture One for yourself, um, this is what these videos are for. I hope you enjoy them. And you can also get a discount code, or I'll give you a discount code if you want to uh, download and purchase Capture One. It's a 10% discount code, and it's a $30 soft software, which is awesome, because I would pay tons for this software, because it's just freaking awesome. But the uh, code is A as in Alpha, M as in Mary, B as in Beta, uh, R, R as in Robert, O as in Oreo, V as in Victor, A as in Alpha, so A, M, B, R O B A. I'll put it on the screen. Don't worry about it. When you purchase Capture One, you can go to the uh, checkout and then put this in code and put A M B R O B A, and it will take out 10% of the purchase price. In my Instagram account, I posted this photo and I asked people if they wanted to see how I edited the photo in Capture One, and a lot of you said yes. So here is the video. If you do not follow me on Instagram, please do so. It's Roberto underscore photo again Roberto underscore photo P H O T O and then you can um, I can I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of this so this is fun you can also subscribe to this channel in YouTube and I'm gonna be this is not a video on how to use capture one this is a video of how I used capture one on my photographs to edit them to edit the raw file but if you uh, I'll be doing all kinds of things in my YouTube channel this is one of them um, following along my edits I'll do tutorials on how to use capture one I'll do photo shoots and I'll put them up. I'll do all kinds of different tutorials for flash photography and everything. So if you wanna subscribe, you can do that. Uh, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to use Capture One. That's not the point of this video. I'm just gonna show you what I did. Okay, um, so here we go. The first thing I did is, I hate the way this looks in terms of the, the curve that the computer, the, the program applied to this picture. This is a very moody, photograph that's what I had in my mind if you notice there's pink and kind of orange tones that's because when I did the photograph I actually put this CTO and this rose gel on top of each other and then I taped it to the light to my pro photo light okay why did I do that because I wanted to get those tones in the photograph so what I want to do is basically flatten out the raw file so I'm going to basically change the I'm going to change the the uh, the curve the automatic curve that Capture One applies on a raw file and I'm gonna go from auto to linear okay auto to linear when you go to linear it flattens out the whole image as you can see all right then from here I'm going to go to the curves I'm sorry to the exposure tab and I'm gonna do some basic weird tones to this background layer so I'm gonna bring this shadow input up a little bit. I'm going to bring this, there you go, and I know this is a strange thing to do, but this is what I did, and this is what I want to do, this is the vision I had, okay, these are the inputs, this is the outputs, okay, so there's six things you can do with that levels, levels layer, all right, now what I want to do is I'm going to apply a cup, I'm going to apply a preset here, not a preset, I'm sorry, a style, uh, if you are like, what's going on with that style, I just I went to the Capture One website and I purchased their style set and I just, I'm going, I, I used it to apply, I applied it to this image. Uh, so here it is. So I'm going to go to styles and presets, which is here. If you don't have that in your version of Capture One, right click, go to add tool, scroll down and styles and presets is right there and it will add it to that, to that uh, tool tab. Okay. So then um, you have choices here, black and white, cinematic, film, matte, seasonal, spectrum. I'm going to go to matte and I'm going to go to M8. But instead of clicking the style and you can see the check mark right there and you can see it, I actually want it to, uh, I want to apply it on its own layer. So uh, one thing that I love about Capture One is this part, is this thing here called layers. You can actually make layers and put different styles and effects and exposure changes and whatever on layers on top of each other so you could mask the hair and then just do changes to the hair and then mask the body and do changes to the body so so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, command Z to undo that and I'm going to go to M8 and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say add to new layer and as you can see it it made a new layer labeled MT-08 which is the name of the style 
All right, then from there, I'm going to go to the levels and I'm going to make some serious changes to this. So I'm going to go to the shadow input and I'm going to go pretty far out, probably 50 something. Okay, I'm going to bring the highlight, highlight one all the way in to kind of like make it a little more muddy. All right, that's nice. I'm going to bring the output highlight. Eh, that's good. I'm going to bring this a little lower actually, the highlight inputs. That's beautiful. That looks amazing. Okay, uh, I like that. Now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's really moody and beautiful. Okay. Um, one thing that I one thing that I could do is um, I'm gonna go to the layers here. I'm gonna study the image really quickly. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. I think I might bring the color back in, uh, maybe just make her hair a little bit brighter. So I'm going to make a layer. I'm going to push return and I'm going to push hair. And then I'm going to click on this brush. I'm going to say draw mask. Then I'm going to say display when drawing. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose a size for the brush and I'm going to make my flow, that's fine, harness, uh, fine, opacity, I'm going to go to 60. I'm going to change this layer, I'm going to bring it down to 70% and then if I want to I can bring it back up later. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing the mask for just the hair. Okay, it's thinking, but it's drawing the mask. You can kind of see it there. Amazing. Then I'm going to click on these three little dots. I'm going to say, fill the mask. And then if I push M on my keyboard, M as in Mary, you can see the mask. Then I'm going to refine the mask. So I'm going to say, refine mask. And then it's going to refine it beautifully for me. Another thing I love about Capture One, look at that. Boom, magic, can't beat it. Push M, get rid of the visual mask. Then I'm gonna go to the exposure settings and I'm gonna basically bring the shadow detail back to bring, look at that, bring the detail, bring the hair detail back. Okay, so about 90%. Now, look what I just did, it's, it's pretty awesome. Like, this is before, dark, after, bright. Before, dark, after, dark, very nice. Now um, I'm going to go back to my layers here and I'm say I'm pretty happy now here because my layers at 70% I can actually go to 100 and make it even brighter or I can keep it at 38 or I can bring it to 50 I'm going to keep it at 70. Now I kind of think the eyes are a little dark so I'm going to make another mask I'm going to push return I'm going to put eyes and then I'm going to draw a mask okay I'm going to push B on my keyboard for brush I'm going to bring zoom in and I'm going to draw a mask on the eyes, okay? Because I just want to bring the detail of those eyes back a little bit. Okay, very nice. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to do another one for this eye, of course. Beautiful. All right, that's nice. And then I'm going to get rid of that. Looks, looks kind of evil, like. Okay, sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to only affect the, those, those little spots. So I'm going to refine the mask so it's a little softer okay it's thinking in the background 300 and then let's look at the mask now it's a lot softer see that this is just much better and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring the shadow detail back in the eyes look at that okay and I would say you don't want to go too crazy where it looks like they have light bulbs okay so I'm gonna go to 70 and I'm pretty happy with that. So let's look at before and after. This is before, this is after, a lot better. Let me see what it looks like with that, a lot better. Now I don't like that little highlight there, so I'm gonna just uh, erase the mask. I'm gonna push E as in Edward or Echo, and I'm going to go to 
100% flow, 100% opacity, and I'm going to erase the mask out of that. I don't, I don't want that highlight to pick up any brightness levels, okay? There we go. And that's fine, and that's fine. I just didn't want to have that there. Okay, way better, way better. All right, guys, this is, uh, this is before, this is after, okay? Now, if you think it's a little cray-cray, you're welcome to, to bring down, like, you can go to this, you can go to this uh, MT08, and you can lower the, uh, because you're working on a layer, you can lower it and bring, bring back some of the colors, right? So if you like it, maybe we can keep it at 65, and that's kind of like an in-betweener. Okay, that's very nice. So to me, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I would say that's pretty dead on for me. I might go to the lens detail and I might click on, um, I'm sorry, the detail. Let's see, details. Uh, the details tab here and I might go to sharpening and I might just add a little sharpening to it. Uh, maybe 80%, 80 points, something like that. Let me take a look amazing okay um so that's basically the look i like in the next episode i can show you how you can do all kinds of other things but this is just a start um now from here i would export it to photoshop right from the software just right click click on edit with edit with and then my Photoshop CC 2018 is the default editor, so click Edit Variant and it will open it up in Photoshop and you can finish up blemishes and whatever you want. But to me, this is, uh, this is the best way to bring back the beautiful details of the raw file. Uh, let me finish off by clicking Before, After, Before, After, looks awesome. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is just one quick episode. I'll do more if you guys want to. Leave it, leave on, leave it on comments if you want me to do more of these, if these are interesting. Feel free to follow my YouTube channel, uh, Roberto Valenzuela. My Instagram is Roberto underscore photo. And the code to uh, purchase and get a 10% discount on Capture One is A-M-B-R-O-V-A. -A. I will put that because people are going to be like, was that a V or a B? So I'll put that on the on the notes all right guys thank you so much for watching from los angeles california we'll see you next time on the next episode of editing my photos with uh, capture one take care and have a nice day bye